And it's time for season openings. We're now heading to the Motorworld in Munich for the season opening. Should be really cool. I'm in the Dallara D50. Mr. PPOV is rolling up in the Aston Martin DBS Ultimate. Looking very sexy, that car. And for that car, we quickly need to do the tire pressures. And then we are off towards the Motorworld. Weather is absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to meet all the people, see what's up, and check out the cars which are there as well. Way now towards the motor world, and in a few seconds we should see a DBS Ultimate overtaking us if we are looking. But what's crazy right now is actually how many pollens you can see flying around everywhere, like the cars used to be clean, and now they're literally just covered in pollen. A bit annoying, especially when you have hay fever. But it is what it is, I'm expecting quite a lot of people there as well now. Sorry for the bad audio quality, but in the car it's just extremely loud. And now we got a DPS coming. Such an insanely good looking car. No job, it looks amazing. And now it's time to enjoy the drive. Head towards the motor world. have made it on the right side in a few seconds, right there actually, you can see the drivers and business club. Uh, that means we are very close to the motor world and to the event itself. Now you can see car spotters slowly gathering and coming together. We just gotta pray that we can actually get a parking space, but I'm feeling a bit confident about that because cars should be special enough. DBS Ultimate is right behind us. And yeah, basically now it's time to enjoy some traffic and just wait till we get there. Okay, now we can see a couple of car spotters, just like one or two, I think. So it should be cool, everyone seems to be in a good mood. One or two, I think. <laughs> <laughs> one or two, yeah. Uh, got a lot of police as well, actually. There's police there and there was just a cop car passing us. Um, so let's see what they can do. I just don't get bikes, they just sound shit. I'm sorry, but like, they just sound ass. <laughs> I mean, fair play to driving, it should be fun, uh, but yeah. Just made it to the motor world, but we have a very special guest. Hello again. Hello. Alles klar bei dir? Ja. Sehr schön. Was sind deine Lieblingsautos heute? Äh, also auf jeden Fall der Aston Martin und der Dallara. Sympathisch, sehr sympathisch. Also wir verlinken dich mal, dann können wir ja. dich überall auf Instagram, auf TikTok und YouTube finden, oder? Ja. Genau so machen wir das. Viel Spaß dir heute, tschüss. Danke, tschüss. <lacht> <laughs> okay, weather is perfect. Oh my God, uh, everything is really nice, and I think we're now going to have a look at the cars. We'll check everything out a bit. Yeah. Right, so let's have a look. See what is here. I think in the back here we'll find a bit more like American cars, JDM, and all that kind of stuff, which should be quite cool. And please excuse if I don't know what car is what, well, because some stuff I really don't have any clue. Uh, interesting, interesting. RS4. Oh, that car is actually quite nice. That car behind there. GT Black Series in satin black. That looks absolutely insane. Tinted rear lights, very legal in Germany. That is so beautiful. Honestly, GT Black Series is still a car I really want. It's on the list. It's definitely a car we need. It just looks so absurdly good. Wow, stunning car. Proper, proper stunning. Clio V6, those are quite cool as well. Last one I saw was at the Museum. RS4, and we got a S3, Corvette back there, a bit Fast and the Furious style, M4, a bug, M4, that thing, R34, GTR, obviously, a beautiful car, everyone loves it, looks amazing, very, very nice, also kept in white, very clean, not bad, not bad, 1M. Actually, a car would really like to have as well. Very, very cool, especially in black. Maybe something like that as like a little fun drift car. 458 Speciale, always one of the most beautiful cars you can see anywhere, I find. So that is absolutely stunning. Wow, 
very, very nice. I think we made it into the sector of Geiger cars. Here we have the new Hummer EV. That thing is massive, but actually looks quite cool, not gonna lie. And then on this side, we'll just squeeze through. Ford GT, beautiful cars. Like Ford GTs, still think we need one of those, definitely. The gold one is beautiful. Um, Corvette C8, is it the new Z06? I'm not sure I'm not good with Corvettes, but that looks quite cool as well. Also not bad, another R34 GTR, 440i. That thing is quite badass. Back here we continue with the new Mustang Dark Horse. That's actually quite interesting. I really have a bit of a soft spot right now for Mustangs. Uh, so this is the brand new Dark Horse. Haven't actually seen that at all. That looks really good. 99,000 euros. I mean, that's quite a hefty price for a US muscle car, I find. But that is sick. Got a Challenger here as well. Old 911, another C8. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Porsche. Lurking here. Looking very mint as well. That is nice. We made it into the holy halls of the uh, Motorworld underground parking garage. But sometimes the best cars are actually lurking here, especially behind that gate, because that is a part of the Oops garage. That's where everything special is. That's where we actually filmed the Ford GT we wanted to buy. Uh, so behind there you'll have like Pagani's probably, a few Chirons, Veyrons and everything like that. But people are looking at the moment, so we'll just browse through and see what happens. 992 here. GT3 Touring, which is quite nice as well. Yeah, we got some old stuff here. GT3 RS, big one. Quite overhyped, it's all that way. A little bit of a Formula 2 or 3 car, I'm not sure. Rally car in the back as well, that's cool. Okay, now you, you guys can actually see some car covers. On the left, straight away, you see a Veyron, and there's some special stuff in there. It's gonna be time to actually head into the motor world now, so let's do it. And now we are inside the motor world. Quickly gonna do the, let's call it, Der Group Boulevard, which is basically everything down here. Obviously, having a couple of Morgans here as well. I drove one of those. Quite a funky car, I think that's the best way of putting it. Beautiful 300 SL something, I don't know, i7. Not a big fan of it. But apparently very good driving wise. Got some beautiful Aston Martins lined up here. F1 Vantage, DB11, no Vantage. M4 CSL, 3.0 CSL. I think that's the biggest money ripoff since like the last 20, 30 years. Because it's literally that car with a body kit. So I'm not a fan of it. We got a Challenger. Down here we have a MP4 12C. 570 GT, I think. Artura back there. 620R, 720S, Camaro, C8, Artura, 720, 750S, a surfboard, SLS Roadster, an AMG GT Roadster, both looking very good to be fair. 675LT at McLaren, you have a Senna in there as well. Um, and not a lot has changed since the last time we've been here. As a champagne golden color McLaren GT. And I honestly think for the money you can get a McLaren GT at, it's actually quite a cool car. You can do so much with it, especially if you do like a little Novatec treatment. They turn out really well. Beautiful 765 in there. And that, I think it's Vulcan Red, but I'm not sure. That looks really nice. 765 again in blue, then a 752. Let's sneak through McLaren Artura there as well but nothing too crazy. But there's always something very interesting and very cool, and that is this Bugatti lineup right here. Chiron Pure Sport, Chiron Sport, and another Chiron Sport, I think. But at the end is what I really care about and what I find really sick, and that is the Aston Martin Valkyrie. This thing, in my opinion, is top tier hypercar at the moment. Such a sick car literally so 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 cool size wise it's literally like a Dallara but how you see the arrow on everything mad proper proper madness yo r34 gtr no idea what's happening here but it looks a bit like fast and the furious all the cars here are from chrome cars if you don't know them i think the aim is to collect like all the fast and the furious vehicles which is quite cool up here everything is packed you have more group which also has zenvo obviously which is quite nice ah Dirk Group actually got that now as well. It used to be AMG, but I guess Dirk Group is just keeping on going crazy. They literally buy everything, which is not gone in two seconds. So yeah, let's see. Okay, here we are now on 
the upper level of the motorboat and we're going to have a quick look around. Let's see what there is. On this side we already have a Toyota. Then we have a GT86 if I'm not wrong. But I think the most interesting stuff might actually be in the dump dome. All right, welcome to the dump dome. I hope it's not going to be an issue regarding music. But here we really have some special stuff lying around. The most important stuff is actually in the middle. Here we have an, I think it's an R33. I could be wrong though. But what I know is that this is the R34. Infamous one in the purple. Absolutely beautiful. Obviously the cars in here are supplied again by Chrome cars. Looking very, very sick, especially that purple, how it pops. That looks absolutely insane in that color. I must say, I'm not the biggest JDM guy, but that one definitely is a special one. Then we have an R35 GTR, also looking very good in Midnight Purple 2. Um, NSX, some other car, another GTR, and a carbon fiber one. This one looks absolutely insane. That one is actually sick, really like that. And we've got another GTR here, an Evo there, another Evo there. So quite some cool cars actually, but this one, this one is nice. This one is really nice. I like that, I think I like it more than the purple one. My, just my opinion. Okay, next stop is gonna be more group if they are open somewhere, that'd be really cool because they always have some special cars flying around. So we're quickly gonna squeeze on through in a second, I hope. All right, you obviously Mo Group is also a partner of Brabus, as you can see with the EQS G-Wagon, or oh, quite a nice 911R here. And we got a GT3 RS 991 GT3 in speed yellow, which I actually like, quite like the color. Turbo S, then we got some Manhart stuff here. Manhart Turbo S, Manhart, oh no, actually not. Just a normal GT2 RS with carbon parts. That is really nice. This one's sick as well, GT2 RS as well. Audi RS 3R from UP, another UP lineup here, and obviously a G-Wagon, G-Wagon Brabus on this side. Uh, here we got some old Jaguar looking quite cool as well, AMG GT, I think it's a GTC 50 edition, I'm not sure. GT63 SE Hybrid, quite a powerful car, it's quite cool. Then here we have a 911, then here we have a GLE, and this is a, probably one of my favorite cars here, SLK55. Such a small car with such a big engine. Those ones are really cool and really quite some fun. Then here we have another up RSQ8, back there as well. Um, is that a Legacy or is it just an R? No, 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 that's not a Legacy. Okay, all GT3 on here looking very cool. These ones are actually quite cool as well. SQ8 and then back here we have the Luciano edition as far as I know so that's Luciano's car is it oh no that's a signature edition I thought it was Luciano's I'm very sure they also have Luciano's here but even that one looks very nice I'm not gonna lie up really does some great stuff and I can't wait to very shortly take delivery of our car oh no I think we missed the best part there was a hurricane evil revving in here that sounded so good maybe we can still see them pull away back there Clio V6 rolling in behind that in the M4. Oh, that sounds good. Still one of the best sounding cars in my opinion. But I think it's time to head out again. Fanboy moment right now. It's Dustin pulling up right here. Let's see what's happening. Hello. 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 I've got some answers bekommen. I can't stay here. You're going to stay here. Of course you're going to stay here. Come on from the front and stay here. Hello. <laughs> All righty, Dustin is here now, meaning he's going to pop the trunk and hopefully get us some Capri Sun. As you can see, he's got a Grail exhaust now. And now we're going to absolutely annoy him and talk to him. Monsieur, can I help you outside? You need help. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, beautiful. Can you do it? How are you guys? Now I need to talk again English and it is... Very nice, not, huh? Not that, not that easy for me. But nah, you would you love it. to have a lovely... Capri Sun? Exhaust warm Capri Sun. A hundred percent. Let's get it. <laughs> what happened here? Wait, we need to place these nicely. This was completely full until we got there. Right, that's what they all say. Yeah, that's what they we... all say. But I'm gonna steal yeah, no, we talk, we... It was completely full until the passport came and they just opened up the door. Uh, thanks, Dustin. Uh, I'll see you no soon, problem. mate. Take care. 
we definitely will tag you so people need to check you out but this thing looks absolutely crazy so everything is speed engineering most yeah. of it yeah so Not full body exactly kit Front part and the heck parts and carbon yep. are from a different uh, dealer. Yeah. But the Combelletti workshop and the engineering car is from Speech. Okay, Speech. very cool. Can I have a quick look around? Yeah, yeah, sure. Perfect. All right, let's have a look. Okay, that all looks very nice. These are actually sick. The hood pins, Piper Cross Performance air filters, not bad. But the kit itself, front splitter, how everything is wider here. What's really cool about the car actually is it's fully tuffed, so it's completely legal. And basically his mission is to kind of turn everything into a rally car. So full carbon fiber, the wing looks sick as well. You can actually change positioning regarding downforce. Diffuser is done as well, exhaust is done. And then let's have a look inside. Obviously, as he sadly lost his arm in a motorcycle crash, he got this to control everything, which is really cool and really good driving for it. Cage back here. Damn, that is very, very sick. Very cool looking car. As we outside, quick look around here. Very nice FA Tributo. GT, uh, well, what am I saying? 8 or GTS. Hurricane Evil Spider looking very good. Another hu Hurricane Evil Spider RA Murcielagos. Love them. Back there, you actually also have a F40 lurking. Looking absolutely insane with UK number plates. So that is very cool. And a 430. But now it's going to be time to actually cool down a bit because it's insanely hot. Who will you greet? I greet Luis. Felix and Oscar. Super easy. Du bist drin. Wir sehen uns. Okay, so Mr. PPV is now leaving in the DBS Ultimate. Still one of the best looking cars in my opinion. Just look how stunning that thing is. Absolutely beautiful. So season opening is kind of going towards an end, I feel like. Everything is emptying out a bit. Uh, not sure what's happening anymore. So let's see what we get up to. Okay guys, everything got super empty now, so we decided to leave. Which means this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, press the bell. We'll see each other next time. Bye bye.